All right, uh, so this is just a quick video to show you how my Selden uh, bowsprit is rigged on my Bavaria 40. So you can see the rigging here. The, the bowsprit is adjustable. Right now it's in the out extended position. So it's coming out of, uh, of the bow, I would say about three feet and a half, four feet around there to just give space to the ASIM or your code zero if you if you need to use it. It's got two positions. So that's the out position and that would be the pad eye for the in position. So you can bring that in. That red line here is uh, the tack control. So that controls the bottom part of the sail to uh, bring it back to the bow. So if we move forward here, uh, this is an, a new anchor roller that I put in uh, from Mentis. Um, I had to do that because I lost the original one, which was angled down a little bit. And uh, that part of fib fiberglass here was just not thick enough and not solid enough. And eventually the, that whole assembly, the original one just got ripped off. So I had to rebuild the fiberglass, which was about, I would say a quarter inch thick at this point, which was just not solid enough. And uh, I built it up to about like an inch and a half now of solid fiberglass thickness. And uh, now it's holding that um, uh, that anchor roller well. Uh, you can see I put a lot of 5200 here just to make sure I was not getting any water infiltration. So back to the uh, the setup for the uh, uh, the bow sprit. As you can see, everything is held from that bracket here. So that's a stainless steel bracket. It goes all around uh, the bow sprit, and it uh, it connects straight to uh, the front stay. And it, there's no Somebody was talking about a bobstay. That, that part you see there is just the Mantis uh, uh, setup to receive the anchor. But if you look in front of my bow, you will see that there's no bobstay. There's nothing here to interfere with the, the anchor chain or anything like that. Uh, right now, that's my anchor line, so there's pretty calm condition here. So it sticks out like this. I've had this rig for seven years. I've sailed. Um, quite extensively with it. It always works well, always performs well. Um, the end part there where the line comes out, so that line goes through the bowsprit. It comes out there and uh, I've had no chafing there, no no issue at all actually. It works really well. Like right now, the only thing missing off it is the the, uh, the halyard for uh, the ASIM. I'm using that halyard to uh, to hold up my, uh, my 20 horsepower dinghy right now. Um, and then the other thing I did to the bow, uh, just quickly, like I put some strike plate. You can see that the stainless steel strike plate here, just to make sure that my anchor, uh, when it comes up, it doesn't strike the bow. So that, that's about the mods I did. But the main thing here we were talking about is this bracket. So this bracket here holds, uh, I would say that's, uh, it's gotta be a quarter inch of stainless steel uh, on a sort of a plastic bushing here that's holding uh, the, uh, it's a circle, it's holding there. And it's bolted straight to where my my jib furler comes and where the, the the front stay holds the mast. And that whole rig, like I say, I, I can't tell you how many miles of usage I have on specifically uh, the bowsprit on an ASIM, but extensive. Like I've, I've sailed that offshore uh, with the ASIM extensively and never had an issue with it. it like everything Selden makes, it just works really, really well. So just hit me up if you have more questions, I'd be happy to help you guys again.